Welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. Morning, Kim. Morning. What do you got going on today, honey? 12 hour shift at the hospital. Yep, today, typical day with Starbucks, typical but non-typical day because every so often, Kim really has to work at the hospital to take care of the kiddos. And it's like 6 a.m., so not very talkative this morning. All right, gang. It's a solo day with me, so let's see what kind of fun things we can get into. <gasps> What's up, guys? Uh, been a day in the life with me so I'm gonna go ahead and talk a little bit about that and what I had going on sorry it's not so Christmassy but right now I'm sitting in the car marking invoices as paid this is the I'm on the computer right now about to upload the footage from the vlogmas day four uh, so that I can go ahead and get started editing on that waiting on Kim to get finished taking care of the kiddos so I'm sitting in the parking lot at the hospital right now um, yeah so let's get to it first thing that I did today I drove about two hours away to take pictures of a multi-million dollar property that's being broke up broken up into around 10 acre segments um, I think there were like six houses on the property and three 40 acre plats of land so not a bunch of super interesting stuff nothing Christmassy like I said but the first place that I did photos of on the property was this beautiful cabin um, it's currently an Airbnb and has a huge pond behind it there was a bunch of pit fishing poles in there so I'm sure when people Airbnb this place during the summers they do a little fishing there was a slide that went into the pond um, luckily for us and for you guys and for the person listing the property all the leaves have fallen which made for perfect photos to show all the land around it and there was like a little uh, paddock across the pond where you can keep horses um, and yeah it was a nice little plot of land uh, thought old Tommy the transit van was gonna get hung up because we had to go up a little embankment and there were a lot of leaves on the ground so it made for a very slick and slippery drive but the uh he made it he did all right kim is going to hate this because she hates whenever i talk to the camera like this she says i talk like a teacher eh, whatever she'll get over it um the second place that i went and shot was this cool little house that had horses right in the front i mean literally right off the front porch uh, was a fenced in area where they keep a couple of horses so that whenever the Airbnb guests come to stay they get that Kentucky experience also there was a cool little dog uh, that was running around on the property the owner actually has a sign up in the property that uh, she took it down today so that it wouldn't be in photos but she was telling us about it it said that within five minutes of being on the property you will be greeted by uh, blue that's what she named it um, he'll come visit you and let you know that you're in good hands and he'll be there to take care of you super nice dog and uh, then he'll go home and let you be so they uh, I thought that was a funny story that everybody that that comes to stay at this Airbnb gets greeted by this dog and then uh, I think the next place that I did photos of was uh, the big horse barn that's on the property and I think it had about 30 stalls so like I said sitting here waiting for Kim and I'm gonna check some emails I think I have around 300 emails to go through 
I'm gonna send clients over some photos, edit some photos so that we have stuff to post on social media for all of our branding clients. And then we're gonna go grab some Mexican because whenever Kim takes care of the kiddos, it's about a 13 hour shift and we like to get a couple of margaritas afterwards. So if you guys enjoyed today's vlog, don't forget, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and tomorrow we plan to bring you a little bit more Christmas cheer. So look forward to that. Hey buddy. <laughs>